Welcome to Tablet Talk presented by Lecom. We've got Victor Olofsson here. I still haven't regained my voice, sorry about that, but I'll let you do the talking. So, puck that are on edge when you go to shoot the puck. There's twice now in recent memories that I remember Winnipeg and uh, obviously the New York Islanders. Two goals where the puck is on edge and you're able to get a really good shot. What's that like when look back at the Mighty Ducks, the movie, when you put the puck on edge and you, you, you let it go. Yeah, I feel like usually it's it's going a little bit higher uh, than normal and for me as a, as a lefty, I feel like I shoot it more, it's going a little bit more right too. Okay. It kind of, well it stays stays uh, um, a little bit longer on the on the blade I feel like before it leaves and uh, usually you can kind of, you kind of like you scoop it, so I, I usually shoot it more to the right, so I just got to make sure to hit the net. Okay, well I'm going to pull up the Winnipeg goal here. So this is the first one that I noticed where the puck was not sitting flat and you're still able to put a really good shot. So you come in from almost the blue line. Like, do you like to hide? Like we used to call it hiding in the weeds, like where you nobody can know where you are and then you come in and you surprise them? Yeah, um, in this uh, particular season I feel like I know Mitz is really good uh, working the walls and he's trying to, uh, I saw this case, he's trying to find Josty. so I was just ready for if, if the puck goes uh, by Josty there, uh, I knew it was coming um, to me, so, um, and that's exactly what happened and yeah, like you said, it's, it was on edge here, so I just tried to handle it uh, maybe just a, a second longer than usual before shooting. Do you try to put it down, or are you like, I'm just gonna shoot uh, it? Right I feel like there's there's no no time or space really okay. to maybe put it down here. I'm just trying to get it to stay on my tape uh, before I um, release the shot. Okay, this is the one against the New York Islanders. Kind of the same thing. So. You talk about when the puck is on edge, it's like almost when you play golf and you got a different lie. Like you gotta know which, which side it may go more uh, than the other. So you talk about it goes high and to the right side. Now, does it feel like it's a, almost a slingshot when the puck is on your stick like this, where it's it's on edge that you, you, you have a little bit more whip on your stick? Yeah, yeah you can kind of say that. It's basically kind of same same situation. Mitzi came out with the puck. Uh, I uh, um, already knew he he saw me coming there, and yeah, like I said, it usually goes a little bit more to the right. So I'm trying to shoot it uh, far side. So yeah, if it doesn't go to the right, I'll still hit the net. Um, in this case, and that yeah, one went into found it. right the top corner too. It was yeah. like right inside the uh, the elbow there of the net. The one-timer has is, is always been something that, you know, you use really well. So this one goes through Marc-Andre Fleury. When you see the goaltender, do you see the holes in the goaltender? Uh, in, I mean, this case, not really. I'm just trying to uh, shoot it as hard as I can and, and hit the net. When, when you shoot a one-timer, you know, always has to be um, perfect. Just, just hit the net and uh, usually the goal is not really set and yeah. uh, you can find those holes. People don't realize it, but you guys can see things that are not there. Like it's easy to see, oh, the crossbar is open, right? Bar down is always gonna be open. But the amount of time that a good goal scorer like you can put it through the armpit or through the legs, like do you like almost see ahead of time where the goalie is gonna be and where the holes are going to be? Uh, I feel like I've been, um, obviously um, playing for a while now and uh, I've been, been shooting uh, a lot from those uh, areas so you kind of know how the goalies um, usually where they position themselves and but like I said in this area and the, especially the one-timers yeah. is just to get uh, rid of the puck quick and those holes like like you said through the arms and they're usually bigger when they're not set. Okay, last one. This is kind of funny because this year you have three empty net goals, I believe. So what I like about this play against Ottawa is the amount of pressure you put on the defenseman. Like you're not sitting back. You're like, I'm going to put pressure on you. And then as soon as you get the puck, you look up and you see there's an empty net. Um, some guys would look to pass. Do you think, no, I'm, I'm taking that shot? I feel right here, I, th I think I was looking for, for Tucky there uh, yeah. right away. and. But um, I felt like we were kind of running out of space a little bit, and then I just uh, he came too close up. to you. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. So I just tell him, still over there. I'll get it. To you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, I just kind of looked up and, and shot it. And, um, 
So I believe you got two in the same game earlier this year? Yeah, I think this was the first game this of the year. This was the first game of the yeah. year. Um, ever happened to you before where you got two empty netters um, in the same game? I'm not sure, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. That's a pretty Maybe. rare thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Even it's as not, a it's not often. Two, I mean, yeah. usually, yeah, exactly. Usually if you score one, they, they don't really pull the goal again, but uh, it happens sometimes. So. Well, Victor, thank you again for thank stopping you. by. Appreciate it. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.